like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. Man, this cat is casket sharp, head to toe, good. Captain Parson, how are you? I'm good, Donnie Glover, how are you, sir? Good, good. What's your analysis of this uh, recent election? Well, you know, I serve on station committee. One of the things I think that really was uh, disappointing was the turnout. Uh, the turnout hasn't been that low since the early 1900s. And so I don't think it's a question of doing more voter registration. It is definitely voter mobilization and voter uh, turnout. But there was none. Exactly. And so we need to do I mean, more of that. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're running for office, are you concerned about people coming out to vote or are you concerned about winning? Well, ultimately, the name of the game is to win. Oh, well, if, if it benefits you to have a low voter turnout, then why would you push to have more turnout? If you win with less, what's the point? Well, that's an interesting question you raise. I mean, it may be to the benefit of the incumbent, but as you know, uh, in some instances, that necessarily wasn't the case in this particular election uh, because we did have some incumbents who had a tough fight uh, this time around. And so uh, we do know that uh, they had some additional support to get them there. But I think the big picture is, again, we still need to, even though that may not have been a concern for some folk who are in office, we still need to have people participate in the process. And I'm sure our forefathers were turning over in their grave to yeah, know, but, like the Fannie Lou Hamers. You had four distinct challenges, four challenges, Landers, Rowley, Pugh, Conaway, four challenges. You know, and you, and you know black people are very brand loyal. Mm -hmm. You know, who, who would, who, who, who could black, I mean, there were some people who liked Rowley, some people who liked Pew. Uh, there were those who swore by Frank Conaway. I mean, come on now. Well, the community definitely was fragmented, and again, we and, get and, back and, to... And shame on, you know, the those candidates, those four challengers, because at the end of the day, we look worse as a community than we did in 1999. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, I would agree with you, sir. I think we do have some work to do. Work and some work. <laughs> this thing is off the hook. It's off the chain. In, in 99, you had Stokes and Bell. Right. 12 years later, you got Pew, uh, Rowley, Conaway, even had Stokes in the race at one point. I mean, right. it's, we're moving backwards. There is no black leadership in Baltimore. Seems to be a vacuum, and uh, so hopefully, seems to be. So, so hopefully we can come back to the drawing board. Are you kidding and Somebody me? can step up. Seems to be and grab the bull by the horn. Like who? I'm hoping that somebody. I don't. I mean, it could be Kevin Parson for all, for all that. Uh, maybe. Uh, hopefully, I. Can. Well, you sure dressed dapper enough to be my <laughs> man. You can be my man any day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, but who? Who? Who's on deck? We have famous. Black politicians that have come out of this town, my question is always, well, who is the next one? Well, I read an article, uh, interesting enough, that talked about how people from the President City Council has launched their next mayor bid uh, from there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the President City Council as he moved forward. Uh, he had a very good uh, run to uh, win his seat. Uh, course. He had a pretty good run. He ran it. I mean, <laughs> did Keith Farber have a chance? Well, I mean, Did obviously, he, okay, well, come on, obviously, obviously, are you Jack, doing some real political analysis? Yeah, obviously, Jack Jack was was the front runner, and also, also he had the name, and he's uh, an incumbent, he's a seasoned politician, so it was pretty tough uh, to, to win that. Those guys didn't have a chance. Yeah. They didn't have a chance. Okay, so the, pretty much the machine won. Right. Uh, even Belinda Conaway. That was, an interesting, that was an interesting race, and uh, it's unfortunate because she's an excellent city council person. She works very hard for her community. She does a lot of great things. She brought a lot of money to her district, uh, particularly when you look at some of the schools in her district. Uh, but it's unfortunate, and it gives folk an opportunity to kind of push their agenda through the city council at this particular point. Okay, any final thoughts? I'm always good to see you, brother. It's always good to see you, and I'm glad to be a part of Be More News, the news before the news, where you uncover the truth. <laughs> okay, uh, Congressional Black Caucus is going on. Any thoughts on it? Are you going? I'm definitely going to be at the Congressional Black Caucus. I'm going to be at some of the sessions. I'm just not only going to be at the parties, because we know there are parties of all parties that are taking place, but I'll definitely be over there. They're doing some on African American Boys on Saturday with Dave Miller from the Urban Leadership Institute. I'll be a part of that as well. Okay, good deal. Kevin Parson, always a pleasure. Yes, sir.
Keep watching vmorenews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.